session we'll take a look at working with some of the tools relating to grayscale and color density because our color separations are gray with a color applied to them and then they're half toned and screen printed but we want to understand how the tools in Inkseps work relating to grayscale and what they do. I'm going to change my shirt color to white Click off and we'll come down here. Now this is a grayscale going in 5% increments up to black from white. If I go to the tone curve, here in the center is the midtones. If I bring that down, I'm bringing the density down in darkness and making it darker. If I bring it up, I'll make it lighter. Now if I want to do an effect where I just want to affect the lighter color, I could put a node here or a dot on the curve here which is set to straight mode then come here and I'll start affecting only the lighter colors but the colors beneath 50% won't be affected. And I'll bring that back down here. If I want to affect just the darker areas I would come down here with that set to keep this straight and where it's supposed to be but then I could come and make the darkers darker, or I could make them lighter. In fact, everything above the 50% point. If I want to start over, I just reset. If I want to go up into the lighter colors and make some adjustments that way slightly, I can do that coming up from the lighter area. So what you want to think of with the tone curve is down here is the black or darker areas of the color, and up here is the white or the lighter areas. So wherever I'm working with this, if I come down here and start pulling down on the black, I'll start affecting the black. And we'll reset that, and that's your tone curve. Now this is saturation. If I bring this up, you'll see it starts pulling the darkness down through the app to the halfway point. And if I go up, I'll start pulling the colors into a lighter color. Now here is the levels. Here we start at 255. If I start bringing that to the left, I'm bringing the color of the white up into the black. Here is zero. If I start pulling that to the right, I'll start making the black darker. This works primarily with the midtones, and you can see as I pull this up, I'm pulling from the midtones up. And this will affect from 255 everything in the design, all of the color on everything, not just the regular grayscale. And I'll reset that. So that's working with our tools in Inkseps, the basics anyway. And you can load some color separations and grayscales and just do some practicing with them and you'll become very efficient. Now I'll go to separation here. This is a six color. Looks like a grayscale. And I'll turn the original on and off. We can see it's absolutely accurate. If I pull back the black, I'll see that there is some color in there. Very faint, but there's a blue in there or some type of blue. I'll turn that back on and I'll go to my split view mode. I'll go to the red, we won't see anything there. I'll go to the yellow, we won't see anything there. I'll delete that. I'll go to the green, and I'll delete that. I'll go to the cyan. I can see that I've got some faint color in there. And then if I want with the tone curve to see what I'm dealing with, I can pull that down and see, well, that's what I have in there. So by working with the tone curve, pulling down into the darkness, I was able to bring that grayscale color density out so I can analyze it. I'll reset that. I'll take that cyan and then I'll look at the blue and there's quite a bit of blue. But for the sake of putting some effects on this grayscale for design or separation or whatever, I'll take this cyan and I'll go to merge and I'll merge that into its closest color point, blue. I'll go to the magenta, there's nothing there, I delete that. Now I have the blue and the black. 
Now I can go to the blue, watch what happens with the black. Go to the tone curve, pull that down, that blue starts coming out, making a nice effect or touch on that grayscale image because we did have some color in there. I could also go to my color picker and slide through the pure color spectrum and get down here into an orange and see what a sepia tone might look like. Working with the gray, I could actually take the gray, change that to an azure, or actually an orange, bring that over, bring that over a little bit more down into the darkness and we can see the effect of changing the color of the grayscale and then I could make an effect on that working with the tone curve and the other tools in Incepts. Bring that saturation up. Bring that saturation down. You can see the clarity come out. So you can see how these tools work based on working with the levels of the density of the gray that's in the color separations with the color applied to them when you're working with the tools in the Incepts color separation application. We'll wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.